What's your paranormal encounters in the attic, basement or crawl spaces? Make as concise as I can. Mom had a best friend that was murdered by her husband. She would come visit me in my mom's basement when I was younger. I would hear someone in my pitch black room at the foot of my bed, soft breathing. My girlfriend and I used to feel someone sit at the foot of my bed. My girl even felt it when I was not there. Lastly, I had moved, but my mom kept my bedroom similar to how I left it. I had a document I needed to retrieve out of my old closet. I went there alone, still had a house key. Well, just as I was leaving, walking across the room out the door, I heard a kissing sound, as if somebody blowing me a kiss. For a split second, I thought it was my sister messing around, then I knew I was there alone. It made the hair stand up on the back of my neck. I knew it was our ghost. When my parents and I moved into my house, which is over 100 years old, they were renovating the attic. When they opened walls, they found a World War II soldier's uniform, notes and bottles he sent back to his wife from the war, and some really odd drawings and photos. After they removed the objects, strange things began to happen around the house. Pictures would be crooked on the walls in the morning, books fell off shelves, glasses fell out of the cabinets at night, but when we came in, all the cabinet doors were closed, and after a couple of days, the attic began to smell like rotting meat that lingered in certain spots of the house from the attic down to the basement. After they placed the objects back in the wall and sealed it up, everything was okay. I lived in a house of a former sheriff that committed suicide there. My mom strictly doesn't believe in ghosts and has no fear of the unknown, but will admit there were unexplainable things there. She was for once absolutely fearful of being in the unfinished basement to do laundry alone. She heard male voices speaking in hushed tones down there. Not related to basement. Our hamster also went missing from its enclosed glass cage, lid and all, only to be found in the duct work. Fur came out of the vents when we turned it on. I'm 100% sure I was pushed down the stairs during family nap time when I was out of my bed. Random splatter stains would appear on my wall, and my mom would have to scrape them off because no cleaners worked, then repainted my wall, and she's a pro at cleaning stains. I got in trouble many times for that last one, although, I swear I didn't put anything on my walls. I would also have nightmares that there were black shadows surrounding my bed, and when my parents would come into me screaming, they said the closet door would always be open, and they thought I got up and did that, but I was too busy hiding under my blankets out of fear. Went ghost hunting in the middle of the night at a friend of a friend's stupidly haunted parent's house. There is a corner of the basement that belongs to a former foundation. The only part of the past building to survive. I didn't see anything or look long enough to see anything since the basement was so creepy, but multiple people, when they look down the narrow crawl space, will see something move at the dead end of it. Sometimes if the house is particularly unhappy, when you look, you'll see something with eyes looking back. Well, I had moved from New Jersey to Illinois with my family back in 2005, and the basement was relatively normal looking. But, in one of the closets, we found a mannequin. It worked as a punching bag, so we kept it. There was a small room in the basement that I kept my PC in. Sometimes when I would go in there, I would hear whispering coming from behind me. Whenever I would turn around, all I would see was the mannequin. However, one time I opened the door to the basement and saw that thing at the bottom of the stairs. The only other person home at the time was my sister, sleeping. For some background, my grandma, grandpa and I moved into new house when I was six years old. My grandpa had a stroke and we needed a one-story house, since he could no longer climb the stairs, this house felt perfect. I had always been able to feel weird stuff. My friend says I'm an empath, but I'm not as strong as she is. My dad says he's that weight too, that he's always been able to feel ghosts and such. Every other family member I have is on my mother's side, and they can't feel the paranormal of all to my knowledge. When we moved into this house, I didn't feel a thing. That is, until I went into the basement. I know this sounds like a terrible horror movie cliché, but please hear me out. I might actually need help here. I went into the basement and it felt suffocating. I developed a fear of that basement, but being a small child, I had no idea why I was scared of it. Whenever I needed to go down there for my grandma, I would inch my way down slowly, grab what I needed, and sprinted back up the stairs. My grandma always joked that I was so serious about exercising. She never felt what I felt down there. Eventually, my aunt and 11-year-old cousin moved in with us because of my aunt's divorce. She needed a place to stay until she could get back on her feet. 
My cousin had a lot of behavioral problems due to mental disorders and the fact that his parents just got divorced. I was 12 at the time. My cousin and I ended up playing down there a lot. I hated it in the basement, but it was a place we could escape the adults and drama of real life when the weather didn't let us play outside. My aunt and cousin didn't understand why I hated the basement, so I just thought I was being paranoid and buried my fear. But I could never stay down there for longer than an hour straight. Every day I played down there, it felt more and more suffocating. As soon as my cousin and aunt moved out, I avoided the basement as much as I possibly could. When I was around 14, I told a friend of mine about it, and she thought it was haunted and gave me sage to try and cleanse it. It didn't work. I moved out at 18 into my boyfriend's dad's house. A year later, my grandma called me and asked me to house sit for a week while she was on vacation, but no boyfriends allowed. I tried to do the first night by myself, but I couldn't even be in the living room for half an hour without panicking. So my boyfriend stayed with me. One night, while we were watching YouTube on the Roku in the living room, we heard a loud crash from somewhere in the house. I was scared someone had broken in, so my boyfriend grabbed a knife and surveyed the house. Nothing was out of place and all the doors were still locked. I didn't sleep much that night and nothing else happened. When grandma had gotten back from her trip, we left immediately. She called us later asking if we had been in the basement. I had avoided the basement the entire time, and so had my boyfriend. She told us her box of VHS tapes that had been sitting on the ground had been thrown and strewn about. The one place we hadn't checked when we heard the loud crash was the basement. This thing had never, to my knowledge, physically interacted with anything before. This scared me, but nothing out of the ordinary happened since according to my grandma. Since I had already moved out, I couldn't monitor the basement. A few months ago, my grandma asked me to come over and bring some stuff up from the basement for her since her back had been bad lately. So I went down and was looking for the thing she wanted when suddenly, it felt like my body wasn't my own. I watched myself pull out my phone and try to download a spirit box app with a feeling of, I want to talk to you. I snapped out of it, grabbed the things and ran out of there without a second thought. I had never felt anything like it. It had never felt like it wanted me down there, and it had definitely never wanted to communicate with me before. And I had never felt like I couldn't control my own body before. This was new and new was scary. But I again, made excuses that it was my own curiosity that got the better of me. I developed a paranoia disorder because of the thing in the basement. I couldn't be alone without having a panic attack in that house. Even now after I've moved out, if I'm alone for even half an hour in my apartment by myself, I have panic attacks. I think it really messed with my mental health, but until today I chalked it up to my mental disorder, feeding my paranoia about it. My friends and I have been playing D&D at my grandma's house. We had been playing in a back porch room, which doesn't have any insulation, and it's getting cold where we live. My grandma suggested we play in the basement since it's warmer than the porch and told me to show them around. So I showed my two friends around the basement. One of these friends is the empath I previously mentioned, the other is a paranormal skeptic. Since I had practically convinced myself nothing is wrong with the basement, I brought them down. The basement is in the same shape as the house, which is a J shape. To the left of the stairs is the top of the J, and to the right is the bottom man behind is the hook. I showed them the top first since it was more open so more room for us. I felt the usual pressure on my chest like I was suffocating, but then both the skeptic and empath said they felt a pressure on their chests too. I brought them over to the hook in the J away from the pressure, and it felt fine, until the skeptic walked away back to the top. The empath whispered that she felt it just walk over to us, and then the skeptic came over and said it was no longer in the top of the J but in the hook. I had to grab some stuff while I was down there, but after I got them out of there. I got confirmation by someone who is super aware of the paranormal and someone who is the opposite and super skeptical about the paranormal that there is something dark in that basement. And I wouldn't be writing this if it weren't for the skeptic friend. He messaged in a group chat an hour ago that he had been having nightmares about the thing in the basement and he refuses to ever go back down there. He is thoroughly freaked by whatever it is down there and that is me worried. My previously mentioned aunt and cousin, and now additional 12-year-old cousin, are once again moving into that house temporarily until they get a new house. I'm worried about their safety. This thing is capable of throwing objects and instilling paranoia and fear and other negative emotions into people who are no longer there. It nearly possessed me into opening a spirit box. We also know it's very territorial.